Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. Today we're going to start right into the ninth section, which is 1D arrays. There's 14 tasks to go. Let's see how far I can get today. Our first task is to capture code fragment that gets in an array of integers and an integer and returns an integer. And we're supposed, according to the tests, I would guess that we're supposed to return the eth position of the list we get in. Just a wild guess. Uh, but apparently the right one. So, as it is the case very often, the first tasks are pretty simple. But I won't boast too loudly because usually I get paid back for these kind of boasts. So let's see what the second task brings us. We have a list of strings and we return a string and our expected result we get in a list of four A's and our expected result is two A's. So it may be a concatenation of just two concatenation, there's a plus missing. Um, of just two of the uh, elements of the array, but of course I don't know that. So maybe it's not the first and the second, but the first and the third element. Just a wild guess. No, it's not. Maybe it's the first and the fourth element. No, it's not that. Maybe it's the first and the last element. Um, so it's list dot length, I think. If I'm not mistaken, no, that's actually oh, sorry for that. Length minus one, of course. Yes, that's it. Nice. So let's continue on to the next task. Task three in sector nine. We get in a list of integers and an integer and we're supposed to return a bool. Okay, so we get in a lot of zeros and a zero and we're supposed to return true. And we get in a list with a one and zeros and zero and we're supposed to return still true. But if we get in only zeros and a one, we're supposed to return false. Mm, I don't really know. What's that supposed to be? But maybe it's i equals to zero. That would fulfill the two, uh, the three test cases we have here, but it's probably not enough. So uh, there's a true in the case with a one here and this kind of thing. So no, I'm not yet sure what this is supposed to be, but it could be something like i is smaller or equal than the first element of our list. That would fulfill all the four test cases. Let's see what happens. No, that's not it apparently. So it's not only the first element we're talking about, but maybe it's the sum of the elements. So let's just try it out. Before I do anything more complicated, I'm just going to add, uh, add up the second element. In which case, all the test cases I had before should be fulfilled. Probably there's another one. Oh, nice. One and minus whatever. And one for I. 
and this is supposed to be true. Interesting. Um, is it only me or is this test case kind of confusing? Um, okay, so let's go back a step. Let's say, is equality defined on arrays? I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. So let's see what happens if we do something like list equals new array. Uh, need to define the type. Zero 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 zero. And there's a comma missing. Zero. And now the brace. And now the if. And and I equals no. Uh, I equals zero, return true, at the end we're going to return false. Does this work at all? I'm not sure. Yes, apparently... No, it doesn't. So this equality appears to be always false. Otherwise, this first test case should be true. I guess I'm thinking overly complicated here. So it's not summing up the elements of this list. So maybe it's just another idea. Return i smaller or equal list zero or i smaller or equal list 1. Should fulfill the test cases also. Let's see what happens. Okay, fulfills most of what I had before, but now we have a new case where actually maybe it's just occurrence not small or equal because zero is in here, zero is in here, one is in here, no, uh, one is not in here so it's false, one is not in here so it's false. So maybe I just check whether they are equal and not, not small or equal. Okay, so apparently I have to check all the elements so it contains is pretty likely I guess um, so I'm going to need a loop here um, can I for each an integer S element in list if element equals I return true else return false is that possible? I'm not sure. I developed C Sharp the whole day, so I'm not entirely sure about Java syntax right now, but I manage. Okay, at least I managed to complete the task. The puzzle we're supposed to solve is a contains function, whether i is contained in the list, but apparently the skill rating doesn't like my loop. Come to think of C sharp, this would be pretty easy to do there. But maybe I can think of another solution in Java to check whether the element is contained in the list. There's no contains um, no contains method on arrays, I'm pretty sure about that. Of course, there is the possibility of converting the integer array into a list and then doing a contains check, but I think I have no access to the collections library um, Java util arrays, then say return arrays point uh, s list, I think list contains i not entirely sure if that will work but we'll see method s list not found so apparently 
arrays is allowed but I'm pretty sure that the uh, the Java method actually is called as list so probably this just doesn't work out let me do this in, in C sharp real quick because there the solution is much easier let me revert this to the loop solution I had before this at least solves the problem let me go to C sharp uh, this is not C sharp right now so go back go in again this is C sharp and I guess I have to use system.link for this purpose and then I'm going to say list dot any element where element equals I this should be possible I hope that this uh, link function which is apparently defined also on arrays because arrays are enumerable and this extension is defined but surprisingly enough I still don't get the full skill rating even for this very small solution so maybe there's something even shorter which might be uh, okay maybe I can just say contains I yeah okay apparently that is what code hunt expected me to do I admit that as I just said before we're supposed to implement contains so it's the shortest way to do by using contains but uh, I guess there's no way of doing this in Java because there's no possibility to check uh, array with a contains function at least I'm not aware of any possibilities so let's switch back to Java for the next task yes okay thank you this is not Java so I go out and I go in again and then we have code fragment that gets in a number x and that returns an integer array and apparently we are supposed to return an array that contains this very number 2 4 6 8 10 2 4 6 8 10 so it's always 10 elements but it's 10 times the number I'm afraid that in Java this is again a little more complicated to write because I have to define an int array result of the desired size or okay the size is always the same it's actually a little easier can just say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 does this work or is there some more magic involved yes it works and I get at least two skill points for that um, anyway I guess again I have to resolve to C sharp to get the full skill rating because in C sharp I can do the following I can say after I imported system.link again I can say that I want enumerable dot repeat x10 I think that's the yeah, but I then have to say two arrays so we'll see if, the, if I got the syntax right yeah so I can express it this way and therefore I get the full skill rating I'm not I'm not really sure if I like this one better let me just try if I can skip the two array does he get the conversion right? No, he doesn't get the conversion right on his own, so I have to do the explicit conversion here. I'm not really sure if I like this solution better than the Java solution. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
Anyway, I guess um, this is it for now. At least I managed to complete uh, four levels in this episode. I hope you, uh, you liked it. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, uh, please consider to subscribe to my Let's Develop a channel uh, or follow me on Twitter. I post regular updates. And if you have any feedback, comments or critics, just let me know. I'm always happy to improve. Um, you also might want to have a look at the other things I'm doing, like the Let's Develop with Maven and Eclipse, or the Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. That's it for today. See you around!